really the mega star and people want to ask 13 years later or more than 13 years later mm -hmm. in hindsight what went wrong between Sharon and you well we were young you know we should give that um, now that I'm looking back you know uh, there are certain things that I did that I shouldn't have done and, and certain things in the industry that really would can tear you apart um, you know, when, when you decide on something or when you think you've decided the right thing, it, it may not always be right. Um, a lot of things have happened in the middle. Um, maybe we, I can discuss that with her when I see her because I <coughs> heard that there's some kind of... Um, um, she said that there were loose ends that yeah. have not been right. settled. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. want to bring that up, but at least, uh -huh. yeah, when she comes back... Well, it's all over the news. I mean, you right. can't escape I know. it. So... Um, there's just so many things that we need to sell. We didn't. We talked once when when Casey visited us, but uh, uh, we really didn't talk a l for a long time, and mm -hmm. we didn't get into details. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, but I thought uh, we had settled it then. Mm -hmm. You know, but I guess was uh, it also lack of communication between you and Sharon? Right, and that's one of the reasons. You know, communication and taking things for granted, and so on and so forth. Uh huh. And uh, uh, well, after Sharon, did you vow never to want to? have a relationship anymore with anybody in the same business, show business? Right. Mm. That's why my, uh, when I had relationships uh, after that, it was, uh, it was just, okay, who would be nice to you, not thinking that you're in the business. Mm. And mm. that's why I decided to just go out with people who are not in the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, this whole Sharon thing really stuck to you for the longest time up to now people are still wondering asking Sharon Gabby Gabby Sharon is this something you think you will never live down well I think uh, you know we have a, a very strong relationship together during our existence in the business mm -hmm. and then all these 13 years when I was gone I thought it would all fizzle off and mm -hmm. people will forget about it mm -hmm. they didn't forget about that they didn't forget about a lot of things that I did in, in, in showbiz, my movies and my existence. I was been, I have been always been, I've always been controversial and I think that thing, that controversial word mm. has been following me from the day I got in the business. So um, I've, al I've already accepted the fact that I'm a controversial individual. Uh -huh. So, but some people say in show business that they like that controversy. And between me and Sharon, I don't think people will ever forget, you know, that we are, you know, a team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just like other couples who have a team, mm -hmm. we've established that. Right. In the 80s, it was us. Mm -hmm. In the movie industry, it was us. And mm -hmm. I don't think that's ever going to go away. And of course, you have KC. Well, in addition... To remind everybody of that union. I in addition, you have KC, who's now been very active for the past two years. Mm -hmm and more so now mm -hmm. so how can they forget okay you yeah. know uh, you have a very very heartwarming mm. story about about KC mm. firstly how was it like having to leave like your children your daughter KC in the Philippines when it you was left? hard oh it was hard you know um, I've always wanted to keep things together you know maybe I'm not too good at that but at least I have the heart for it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, things have changed you know, all this time. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure some other fathers would, could relate to how I feel. It, it really hurts because she had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I never wanted to do what had uh, to, to leave her. But the day that I left her, uh, I just broke out in tears. And mm -hmm. she was about 9 or 10 years old. And I knew I was leaving for the States and I was leaving. But I wanted to make it up to her when the time comes. Um, so yeah, you feel that you just had to do what you want. You d you feel that you just had to do what you had to do. I had to do what I had to do. Mm -hmm. um, going back to work, uh, trying to fix your life, trying to straighten things out. Mm -hmm. I knew she was in good hands, so um, yeah, it w I felt good mm -hmm. that she was in good hands. At least that part. How long didn't you see Casey? Thirteen years. Thirteen. Yes. Thirteen years. The whole time. And why were you writing letters to yourself? That's something I'm not going to discuss on there. Okay, but you but did write. But you did write letters myself, to yourself, and mm -hmm. I kept mailing it to myself. Mm -hmm. And I knew one day, like Mark Hill says, I saw him in TV. I think this is the third time I'm going to mention this. 
one day my children will look for me. And when they do, mm -hmm. at least I know I'll be there for them. Mm -hmm. and, and I did, mm -hmm. when she did look for me, I was there for her, and I still am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a cold night, you said. You were coming in from the cold, and the phone rang. Right. And what happened from then? Oh, that's really a, this is a touching moment. Um, <clears throat> uh, I knew she was going to call me up one of these days. So I just had my phone. I've had my phone since 1995, the same number, 415-246-6210. Don't call that number because it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> when I came here to, to the Philippines, I had it shut off. So I had a number all the time, and I knew that if she gets that number, she's going to give me a call. So one day, the phone rings. This was two years ago, two, three years ago. And I've never talked to her. Her voice has changed. She's a big girl now. And deep down inside, somehow, I knew it was her. And the only question she asked was, Hello? I would like to speak to Gabby Concepcion, please. Then I grabbed the phone, and I, was, uh, like I, said, I stopped. It was cold up in the evening, getting something from my car. And then I said, is this my baby? And she goes, uh, is this Gabby going to show? I said, yes, it is, baby. And she goes, pa. Oh, my God. I knew it was her. I knew it was her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I and then it was cold out in the evening, going back to that. And all of a sudden, I felt warm. And I just started talking to her in front of the car. I didn't even go in. Were you crying while you were talking to oh, her? Oh, I was very emotional. Really? Yeah, I was very emotional. I teary-eyed and all. Really? But I said, this is the moment. The moment has arrived. You knew it was going to happen. She's, she wasn't even in show business or anything like that. I said, you know, she's my children. You know, she's my child. She's mm -hmm. uh, looking for me. And uh, who cares what she becomes, whether she mm -hmm. becomes uh, stu a superstar or, right, right. you know, she, doesn't, she has no job for the next 20 years, whatever. Uh -huh. She's still my daughter. Uh -huh. I talked to her and I felt so good. And mm -hmm. that, that feeling you, you can't buy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You look so much like her or she looks so much like you. Yeah, that's what people are saying all the time. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Do you think so? I think so. I saw her in the airport the first time. I was trying to avoid her because I was getting closer and closer. I was trying to avoid <laughs> her seeing me. In the airport in the U.S.? In the airport in the U.S. And finally, when I saw her, I went right in front of her and she looked at me. She was talking to somebody and then she stopped talking to that person. Param Bastos guy. But she looked at me like that and she goes, Oh, bye. And we started hugging each other. And then she goes, Oh, I miss you. I miss you, I miss you too. Cry me a river. And then boom, I, I, I pulled her out and she goes, Pa. Why do we look like each other? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens, dear. Oh, <laughs> when you give birth to somebody, they usually that. look like you. <laughs> so, That's uh, so cute. Wow, well, that know. was so cute. And, and she had a three-week stay, was it? How many weeks did Two she weeks. stay? Two weeks. Mm, two weeks. And you said that you couldn't have get enough of each other. You would oh, my goodness. Right. Oh, I would uh, give her the letters. She started crying. She read it. And when, I, when she woke up in the morning, she was still, she had the, the letters in on her uh, on her pillow and uh, every morning I'd s lay down and you know cuddle her hair and you know uh -huh. just be just think I was just thinking now this is my nine-year-old this is my eight-year-old this was my baby <laughs> this is the girl that I used to hold in my hands and and wash her and, and the you faucet sound like a typical father but yeah. you really go through that oh, right? I did that yeah <laughs> I, would, I would clean her and you know and all that mm -hmm. and now look at her she's uh -huh. 22 years old, 21 years old at that time, you know, and uh -huh. I felt, you know, so good about it. Well, then again, we, we got way late. I mean, we were supposed to answer a question, which is, how did it happen that Gabby was going to come back for his father, uh, but now he's like in one snap of a finger, a superstar again? So we talk about Gabby today and mm -hmm. what's in store for him and his future when we come back. You're watching Karina today.